With its sleek, stainless steel exterior and the success of six powerful test flights, Starship has already captured the world's attention. It's a marvel of engineering and ambition, promising to take humanity to the moon, Mars, and beyond. But here's the real question. Have you ever wondered what the inside of Starship looks like and how SpaceX is designing it for future exploration missions? Well, in today's episode of Space Pioneers, we're stepping inside Starship to uncover its secrets. From its evolving interior design to its potential role in shaping the future of space exploration, there's a lot to unpack. When SpaceX recently shared images of Starship's interior, it gave us a rare glimpse into the bold transformations happening behind the scenes. If we compare today's Starship to older prototypes like Ship 16, Ship 20, or even Ship 22, the differences are staggering. Remember those rough, almost patchwork exteriors? They reflected the early challenges SpaceX faced with stacking and welding. The interiors back then? A dense spiral framework ran from the nose cone all the way down, creating a lattice-like structure to keep things stable. It was a clever solution for its time, but far from the sleek vision SpaceX had in mind. Fast forward to today. Starship's interiors have entered a whole new era, with the Star Factory ramping up production and a new Gigabyte facility in the works, SpaceX is rewriting the playbook for spacecraft manufacturing. That once heavy lattice framework? Gone. In its place are streamlined designs that leave the interior far more open and spacious. The transformation is striking. What used to be a maze of metal is now a polished, futuristic environment ready to support humans on long-duration missions. So let's imagine stepping inside Starship for a moment. The spacecraft is over 50 meters long and 9 meters in diameter, giving it an impressive volume to work with. The lower sections are packed with essential components like the rocket's engines and fuel tanks. But above that? That's where the real magic happens. SpaceX envisions dividing the upper interior into six distinct floors, each tailored for a specific purpose. The ceilings will be just over two meters high, spacious enough to move around comfortably even in bulky space suits. The design aims to maximize functionality without compromising comfort, and every level serves a vital role in ensuring mission success. On the first floor, think of it as the workhorse of the ship, a warehouse in space. Here you'll find scientific instruments, rovers, and other critical cargo for research missions. It's also home to the electrical systems that power the entire spacecraft. This floor is all about utility, ensuring everything needed for exploration is ready to go. The second floor is where things get a little more down to earth, if you will. This level stores food and water for the crew, but it also introduces a feature no other spacecraft has ever had. A garden. Yes, a garden in space. Imagine astronauts tending to rows of leafy greens, a touch of green life amidst the cold void of space. Not only does this provide fresh nutrients for the crew, but it also offers a much needed mental health boost a connection to Earth in an otherwise alien environment. Moving up, the third floor is all about health and wellness. Space travel takes a toll on the human body, so this level will feature exercise equipment like treadmills and weight machines to help astronauts maintain muscle and bone density. Bathrooms and personal hygiene facilities will also be here equipped with specialized systems to manage water and waste in zero gravity. It's all about keeping the crew in peak physical condition, even in the most challenging conditions. Now onto the fourth floor. This is where the crew can finally unwind. Each astronaut will have their own private sleeping pod, offering a small but comfortable space to rest after a long day. These pods will be like capsule hotels, cozy yet functional, providing the privacy and comfort necessary for mental well-being during extended missions. But the fifth floor? That's where the magic really happens. 
This relaxation area is designed to offer a breathtaking view of the cosmos. Imagine large glass windows revealing the vast expanse of space, Earth spinning below, or the surface of Mars just on the horizon. While the latest lunar starship designs haven't included such windows, it's clear SpaceX is exploring how to balance aesthetics with functionality. If implemented, these windows could create a profound sense of connection with the universe, offering a reminder of why these missions matter so deeply. Finally, we reach the sixth floor, the nerve center of Starship. This smaller tapered space will house the control systems and serve as the main workplace for astronauts. From here, they'll manage the mission, conduct experiments, and oversee operations, all while surrounded by the most advanced technology humanity has ever built. Now, let's take a step back and consider Starship's potential beyond just transporting astronauts. Imagine a crewed starship landing on the moon, not just dropping off humans, but serving as a foundational piece of lunar infrastructure. Starship isn't just a rocket, it's a multi-purpose powerhouse capable of delivering essential cargo, constructing habitats, and even playing a role in industrializing the moon. Take the cargo section, for instance. Once on the moon, it could be repurposed as a habitat, research facility, or even an agricultural module. Imagine transforming a starship into a pressurized lunar base, complete with living quarters, laboratories, and storage tanks. Covered with lunar regolith for protection against radiation and micrometeoroids, these structures could become the backbone of humanity's presence on the moon. Even the lower sections of Starship, where the fuel tanks are housed, can be repurposed. After removing the Raptor engines for reuse, these sections could serve as storage tanks for lunar resources like water, methane, or oxygen. The moon's lower gravity makes such construction far easier than on Earth, allowing SpaceX to turn surplus starships into valuable components of a thriving lunar economy. But it doesn't stop there. Starship's one-way missions to the moon could also deliver vital volatiles like hydrogen, methane, and nitrogen, elements critical for agriculture, fuel production, and industrial processes. By removing non-essential components like heat shields and steering fins, these tanker starships could maximize their payload capacity, delivering vast quantities of resources to support lunar development. This approach, Recycling surplus starships to create infrastructure could save years of labor and billions of dollars in the early stages of lunar industrialization. And it's not just the moon that benefits. The same strategy could be applied to Mars, accelerating humanity's settlement of the red planet and bringing us closer to becoming a multi-planetary species. Starship is more than a rocket. It's a symbol of what's possible when innovation and ambition come together. From its sleek exterior to its evolving interior, every detail of Starship is designed with one goal in mind, to push humanity further than we've ever gone before. And as we stand on the cusp of this new era in space exploration, one thing is clear. Starship isn't just changing the way we look at space. It's changing the way we think about our future. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.